and we heard it coming up the river. It was following the river up. It was really thrilling because it, all of a sudden the plane just, all of a sudden you saw it, came along the river and then they come up and land, landed at that point. I mean, it's it's like this little secret. It's not uh, it's not something that you hear about when you you know read history books or or turn on the TV and see a documentary um, or a, a movie. Rarely do people hear Pangborn. You don't hear that name. It's not a nationally known name. One of the things I find most inspiring about this story is when I learn about how it has changed people's lives. People who have visited Misawa with the Sister City Association and have experienced firsthand a cultural experience that they wouldn't have had otherwise, and then to learn about how that's impacted their perspective on life, those kinds of experiences are priceless. I'd been through World War II in the South Pacific. In fact, one of the islands I was on, uh, we killed 4,800 on that one island. I've got a picture of a grave in here, buried them. After I went over there and I stayed with the Japanese family, I took my grandson with me. I really, really changed. Before that, I didn't want anything to do with them. There was a lot of good feelings being developed uh, because of this cooperation that the, these two Americans had had with these Japanese people in northern Japan. Well, we all know what happened 10 years later. Uh, 10 years later, the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, and the sentiment toward the Japanese in this country took a major uh, dive. For a long time, the, just the idea of a Japanese in the, in the mind of an American was a negative thing. The experiences that we, we get to have with Misawa, the sister city relationship, and the students being able to go there and the students coming here and adults exchanging friendships and, and uh, sense of community. We wouldn't have that if it wasn't for Clyde Pangborn and Hugh Herndon. If they didn't take that step to do something really brave, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be having this conversation and we wouldn't be going to Misawa and we wouldn't be learning about another culture. Um, we wouldn't be celebrating these achievements here locally. And, taking pride in our history. Um, I mean, there's other things to be proud of, but this is a really significant piece, and, and we, we celebrate, and we talk about it, and we share stories. This story is at risk of being lost to time, and there's a lot of variables that played out since 1931 that kept this story from getting out and, and getting the recognition that it deserved. Through the course of making this documentary, I want to connect with the closest people to the story we can find. This story should be told. It's really important. It's a, it's a story that shaped our history and defined us, um, but it's, it shaped aviation too. It's a big monumental feat that they did, and I'd like for that story to be out there for everyone to celebrate. Miss Vidal is a reflection of the drive that people have to accomplish big things. The story connects us, but we can't tell it without help from partners. We invite the community to get involved in whatever way they can, whether it's connections to more stories, or resources, or financially. This story has shaped our history, but it also has the opportunity to shape our future. This film gives it the opportunity to live on.